Hi everyone, my name is Leonard Shayo. I'm working in the two areas mostly. In the HQ, means headquarters where the broadcasting studios are, and in the field, we produce some real-time shows in the public events, including sports, uh, starting from HQ to the field. So in the HQ, I have to, as a broadcast engineer and a technical person, I have to manage all the facilities which are part of the company. This is, we call PCR, Program Control Room. I have to make sure that I set up everything, all the equipments are working, are in a good condition. So a lot, of, a lot of equipment are found in the studio, including switchers, CG machines, studio monitors, including both videos and audio. I mostly operate the OB van, we call it open broadcasting uh, van or vehicles, which are, these are mobile studios. We're taking the OB van from the office, we go all the way to the intended field, whether the match is happening in the close to the HQ or to the upcountry regions. The, the first job is to identify, when we reach to the field, to identify exactly where the, 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 the truck will park. So number one, identify the location, uh, the position where you are going to place the truck. Also, it will include the position of where you are going to place your satellite antenna. This is very important because when you go to the field, you have to link what you are transmitting from the field to the, to the studio. Seeing here, after parking the car, we have to open up and unload. What are we unloading from here? We unload the cameras, we unload the, 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 the microphones, we unload the steady. All of these are part of the crew, so you can find a crew of more than 15, 20 sometimes, uh, cameras, up to 30, depends also on number of cameras that the truck have. The truck you are seeing here, it, it have more than, uh, more than let's, from 10 to 20, depends on, on, on which game we are, we are approaching. I have to set up the dish now. That's a very, very, very important part. Uh, after identify where we're going to place the dish, trying to set up and make sure that we track we have all the, as you see, we have all the, the equipment, we have the dish, we have the satellite trackers, spectrum analyzers, we say. We have it is somewhere around 35 kilometers from the Earth's surface, which is, of course, ge geostationary satellite. And uh, we have all the, the parameters from the, from the office, including the frequencies, the modulation schemes, which are going to be utilized on that particular day. Then we move to connection. We put all the connection together, we have to make sure that the amplifiers are uh, rightly connected, the L-band, the, the, the waveguides, mm, and uh, test the, the amplifiers, make sure that they're all working, and uh, put the configuration properly into the encoders and the modulators, and put the carrier on, modulate, and check with the guys from the, from the office if they receive the signals and which margins are we playing in? Are we in a good margin so that we can, before starting production, we have to test all of these features. So this is what's happening in that section of transmission. Afterward, make sure that all the IOs, we have the patch panel, or we call IO panel outside, which are receiving and transmitting the signal from and to the truck. Uh, we have all these cameras from the pitch which are sending video inside the car. We have these booms mics, all those types of mics which are receiving for interviews and for ambience. Those noise from the, from the playground which are bringing back or bringing, I mean, sound to the track. Test, with the, test the sound with the sound guy. We have sound technician also. We have to make sure that all the levels are met. So we sit down, we discuss, we test, we check the mixers. So after that, I move to, 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 to switcher, with the PCR which is in the, in, the, in the truck. I have to reload the transition, the logo, and make sure that the switcher is working correctly and fine before the director and the producer start the show. So we program it, I program it, and uh, I call the director, we tested it, and we make sure that everything is in the control. I have to ask them if there is any, any issue they found or there is any problem. I have to check a couple of cameras if there is any, any arise uh, situation. 
and if I'm sure that everything is under control, then I'm coming back to the track. Now the, the another section which is very, very interesting, very, very interesting, which is setting up the cameras. You have all these 10 to 20 cameras and you have to make sure that the output are the same. The levels are the same, including colors and including uh, the lights. You have to deal with something called uh, uh, manipulation of, I mean, electromagnetic uh, radiation. Exactly, because the cameras are not producing any color. Cameras are there to receive the light and uh, based on the, the features they have, including all these uh, instruments, uh, reflectors, uh, distractors, uh, sensors, uh, manipulators, all of these are the features which uh, get used or manipulate uh, radioactive, uh, electromagnetic radiation to get the outputs which is required. The lights is the one which hold all the colors. If you remember uh, 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 one of the famous famous uh, scientists called Sir Isaac Newton. This is a British guy back in 1665 when he did uh, this experiment for light prism, when he used prism to separate lights from the white light. And he discovered that the white light has uh, more than around seven colors, including uh, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, indigo, and a violet. Uh, so all these cameras also, they are utilizing that. They receive the camera, they, they receive the lights and they manipulate that light. So it's up to you for engineers to twinkle or to play with these gadgets and these toys to make sure that you balance, from that light you receive, you balance eh, the, the, the color output, the color matching. You do the color matching, you do the color grading, you do the color shading and color correction. This is the part which I've been also working for, for, for quite some time right now and you are done when you are, you are sure that everything is in place uh, it's time to make a, 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 a run run through test to make sure that everything is okay before the kickoff uh, the, the producer the directors is they are coming in the slow-mo guys everything we test for a few minutes and then we go live then the production starts and done done for the day and we close everything later, we start to do rigging, the rigging like loading back the truck, then that will be the end of that day and particularly or basically that is my role as a broadcast engineer and I've been working for a couple of years now and from Tanzania, Dar es Salaam and this is where the company is located and this is where I am exactly located. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and this is a day as a broadcast engineer. Leonard Shai from Tanzania. Ciao.